What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Getting Technical, episode 53. Talking wow. football again. We got Burke back, first time in a while. And we have an OG, Zach, back there we go. on the, the podcast. OG. There we go. One, of the original, one of the original three, the core three. <laughs> <laughs> back. Uh, we're going to talk NFL. Uh, so, how you guys doing? You guys ready for football season? <sighs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to stay focused on baseball, but I mean, like, the draft... And then, like, now, like, OTAs, like, everything kind of, like, I, I like, that's the best part about football is, like, they, they sprinkle those things in, like, the, the optional training camps and then OTAs <laughs> and then, like, training camps in, like, July. And it's just, like, you're always hearing about football. So it's just, like, oh, it's always, it's, it's always just sitting there in your mind, which is nice. Yeah, it's the best time. Of, I mean, it's the best time of the year. Absolutely. Football's just king. Like, I like NBA a lot, don't get me wrong, but. I mean, Knicks are my favorite team, but baseball season's kind of a snooze fest. I don't care. Well, you're for a Met hockey. fan, so. What? You're a Met fan, so. It's even it's just like even when the Mets won 102 games, though, it's like I wasn't watching that much. Oh, really? I, I watch probably close to 100 Yankee games. Oh, I could like, never do that. I mean, I, just, I, like, I, I follow the game. Like I get the updates on my uh, phone. I, like, I yeah. love I love baseball, but I mean, like like you said, like there's just no better time of year. Like the weather's perfect. Like that that September to like mid November range of football is just. It's the only time of the year I look fun. forward to Sundays. Yeah, because your Sundays it's planned out. Little yeah, Sunday, nice. little Sunday at Nags. Sunday at Nags Head Ale House. Come down on Sundays. Great drinks, free food. Best bartenders. Shout out Nags Head Ale House. Free sponsorship, I guess. No, not happening. No, I'm going to clip, no. clip just, that and just a free send plug. it to Nags Send it to Nags, yeah. <laughs> just, a little, just a little free plug for the our, boys Our buddy there. Burke over at the Getting Technical Podcast. Uh, he's a huge fan. Keep him coming. Um, yeah, I mean, we could talk about the draft quickly. We haven't talked about anything. I think, to me, the biggest thing that stood out was... The Falcons, you know, they, they sign your boy Kirk and then they go and draft Penix. So I don't what are you what are you thinking? I mean, I don't even remotely understand it. You could have gotten Penix if they really felt like Penix was gonna go like somewhat early, would have been probably like in the twenties. Like they were talking he was gonna be like a s like a day two, like second round guy. Like you could have traded up into the twenties or something like that, like traded like a second and a third and move up into the twenties. Like to draft him what was it, eighth or eighth or ninth yeah. or whatever it was? Eight, like yeah. that was like the most mind blowing pick. I remember I was I was at a bar, like a packed out bar, and everybody in the room was just like, "What the fuck just happened?" It was it was the weirdest pick. Well, the, I don't think the pick was like super crazy, but I think it's just weird that they didn't tell Kirk because like the report came out that Kirk Cousins was like, "What the fuck." Oh yeah, he had no idea well, that, that was, they had done. Yeah, because yeah. a bit a big part of him leaving Minnesota was because they were like, "Yeah, we're going to draft." Like they were in on McCarthy, obviously, and they were like, "Yeah, we're going to get a QB." Like your time here is running out. So he was like, "Well, why would I sign you know a long like a longish term extension when their plan is to get rid of me in like the next year or two? And it's kind of seeming like that's like the Falcons' plan, even though they gave him an insane amount of money. But, I mean, like, are you going to keep your top 10 overall pick on the bench for three, four years? You know? Yeah, but it's like the Falcons have kind of always made those, like, weird offensive moves every year. Like, yeah. their team had no real direction. They drafted Kyle Pitts. Then they drafted Drake London. Then they took Bijan. I mean, so three they, straight years they took in the first round these offensive players while they didn't have a quarterback. Yeah. Then they finally have a quarterback. <laughs> And then they drafted and another they drafted quarterback. Quarter. I mean, that was really their, <laughs> their like a bizarre. Thing that was do. really their missing piece. I mean, they had like they had a top ten defense. They have pieces on offense, but they were just fumbling back between Desmond Ritter and um, Taylor Henneke. And it was just like if this team had, you know, if they had like like anybody in the top fifteen, they would have been a playoff team. But they were just on the outside because they just had two quarterbacks that just couldn't get it going for them. Yeah, yeah especially in that division, too. Their defense is actually pretty good. Defense is very good. AJ Terrell Savage. Brother, yeah, they, they were. Uh, what did they go last year? Eight and nine? Something like that. They were, they were like, yeah, they were pretty close to 500 team. You know, if I at worst, like seven and 10, I think. Yeah. But they were, they were good. It was just like, I mean, they also 
like for whatever reason, there were those games where they just wouldn't give Bijan the ball. Yeah, like they were just like, fuck well, it, we're just, we're just not. Had the con- like the migraine, which he shouldn't have even played. Right. Well, f- like no, 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 no. First off, you're playing football. Get your ass on the field. You have a migraine. All right, like, but stop. if you're if you're gonna not play, then just don't suit up at all. Right, and then he suited up, and then everybody in fantasy got screwed over. And people yeah. were betting, yeah. yeah, yeah, but. And what Cousins is coming off an ACL or Achilles? Achilles. 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 Yeah. yeah. So I mean, maybe that's why. Potentially, you know, he is, like, yeah, he you is, know, he is like 35, 36. So, I mean, it's old? yeah, because he's been in the league for a long time, dude. He was on Washington for a while, yeah, he was so on Washington after yeah. RG3, right? Yeah, he, he I think, he, he, I think he was RG3's like, like kind of like replacement, like they were kind of like, like trying to figure it out. And then Cousins got drafted from Michigan State, and they just like he just kind of pushed in, yeah. I don't know, I, I think that, I think that. Since the Falcons have kind of had, they've got all these guys who are like offensive, high caliber players that they drafted, they drafted in the first round of the draft have kind of been disappointing. Like you look at Pitts has been disappointing. I think Drake London overall has been disappointing, but it's because they haven't had these QBs. Right. I don't think it's so, yeah. I don't think it's anything due to like a lack of talent. Yeah. I think it's, but now it's like you get Kirk in there. Like you get the team around them is good too. They have a good offensive line. Yeah. They have Bijan who's going to come into his second year. And I think do they still have Patterson, or they got rid of Patterson. Uh, I don't know if they got rid of him, but he was kind of banged up last year. It wasn't really much of a factor. Oh, they have Algier. That's Algier their too. That's Algier, their yeah. Which was stupid after he ran for a thousand yards his rookie year, and then yeah. they drafted. And then he drafted. But I think Bijan is better. Bijan is yeah, but no, I, I I don't think yeah Algier is like a like a every year full time like. Well, you I know, think it's on. like they want to use Bijan more as like a pass catcher, and then Algier as more of like a which I think should be the. Third down back. Kind I think of, it should be the opposite. I think like, I think that with with all these moves, if Kirk can come back from this Achilles and you know be ninety percent of what he was last year, which Achilles, you never know. I, I think the Falcons can really surprise a lot of people. I think right. I think they'll be breakout years for Drake London, Kyle Pitts. I think Bijan takes a step forward. I think like they have a chance to do some damage this year because their ta- their overall talent on that roster is it's is good. good. Yeah. And they got Rondell Moore. Forget, that was that's a solid little move to get a guy opposite. Wide receiver, what, two yeah, the, yeah, he they picked him up from uh, Arizona. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then Drake London, Bijan, Kyle Pitts, like they have, like you're saying, they have the talent. And now that they have a QB, and it's just like, look, if Cousins really isn't that healthy, then you know maybe it turns out to be kind of a good pick. But the, the it, I, I can't say it'll ever be a good pick because. They could have gotten him so much later. Like you could have picked up, like you could have drafted Roma Dunze and had two stud receivers, yeah. and still gotten Penix later in the draft. So that's why it's like it's just a confusing one. It's a super confusing. Yeah, who pick. else was gonna take? I mean, McCarthy was pretty set with Minnesota, right? It was uh, like, oh, but like that's, that's what I'm saying. Like nobody had Penix going this early because even he's had injury problems in college yeah so that's why he was like uh like a late uh, round one round two same thing with bo Nix. bo Nix went super high because sean payton was super high on him. it was just like that's another team like you could have drafted him much later and put like a couple guys around him because all they have is Cortland sutton oh no sutton uh sutton's, on sutton's the, gone sutton's gone so and they, judy's gone wait where yeah. is sutton right now sudden went to Fuck, where did they he traded go? him to the Browns? Yeah, no, Judy's on the Browns. Judy's on the Browns. I knew one of them was on the Browns. He might be. I, I was thinking Curtis Samuel for some reason. I don't know why I confused those two. Uh, Who do they have? Tim Patrick still? Maybe. Is Tim Patrick still on? He was on Denver last year. He still plays football? Yeah. He was terrible. Courtland, all right, Cortland Sutton's still there. Jerry Judy's gone. Yeah, Judy, right. Judy's so on like, the Browns. So, like, there's another team. Like, you drafted Bo Nix at 12 when you could have drafted him in the late first, early second, and now you only have one wide receiver. And it was like you could have gotten another receiver and then still gotten Bo Nix later in the draft. Mean, yeah, I guess, I guess they uh-huh. just – You mean Bo Nix or Penix? Well, he's saying I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying like, both, I'm saying both, yeah, both Atlanta and Denver – you know, drafted their QB, like thinking like, all right, we got our guy. That's fine. But you got your guy way too early when you could have yeah. gotten him way later and boosted up that team in like a much better way. Like Atlanta couldn't gotten could have gotten Roma Dunze. You know, um, I'm not sure about the wide receivers in that mid dre and that middle of the road, uh, like 
There wasn't many taken. 12, yeah, that 12 to 20 range, I don't know. But, I mean, still, like, you could have found something to boost that offense. They could have uh, – no, they couldn't have taken – Brock Bowers went to pick before. Bowers went to the Chargers? No, he went to the Raiders at 11. That's another pick that just made no sense. They drafted Michael Mayer last year in the first Yeah, round. you drafted – yeah, back-to-back first round. I guess it's best player available. Yeah. The only other team that – Like, they needed, they needed a – um, they needed offensive line help. And you didn't yeah, – you I just mean, ignore they, that. A lot of teams did, but that's the thing. It's like – a lot of teams need a lot. Uh, the only other draft that really stood out to me was the Bears, I think. I think the Bears offseason, like getting Caleb Williams in the building, then trading for Keenan Allen, then they drafted a Dunze, right? Yep. Yeah. It's like now you got – And Swift. And they signed Swift, right? Yeah. So now you got Caleb Williams, you got DeAndre Swift, you got DJ Keen- Moore, Keenan, Keenan Allen, Allen Dunze. Roma Dunze. I mean – Cole and Komet. The- Cole, Cole Komet, Komet. like that yeah. offense is cr- kind of crazy, and I think that I think the Bears had an underrated defense last year. Bro, they got Jalen Johnson. Towards they, the end yeah, of the season, that good. defense was playing really good football. Once, and once, now- once Justin Fields like kind of came back and started like settling in, they started to play a little bit better. And it was like I think now like that just like obviously Keenan Allen and Roma Dunze along with uh, DJ Moore, like that offense is you're just walking right into exactly. I mean, it's a, it's as good of a. A good scenario of an opp- for yeah. a number one pick has probably ever walked into. Right, yeah. yeah if Caleb Williams is, is good, I mean, bro, they're going to be fucking good. Yeah. I think they're going to be mean, good. Yeah, even if Caleb Williams is like, you know, his rookie year is like middle of the pack, I mean, it's tough to not to not be good. Yeah. And, I mean, the division is tough. But the division is, I mean, you really have to see how, how McCarthy handles, you know, his rookie year. You know, Minnesota's going to be Minnesota. Um, but I mean, is are the Lions going to continue on their path? You know, is Jared Goff going to continue kind of being, um, you know, whoever? Like, is because he's like he can be funky, like he can have his ups yeah. and downs. But I mean, Jordan Love. I think the Packers are still the favorite team. In I my, think so. In That's my, my favorite team in that division. Yeah, I think Jordan Love's just going to continue to keep going on the up and up. Talent around Jordan Love. I think so. I, I think, think one of those think one of those receivers is gonna blossom this year. Whether it's think, Watson, do, uh, d- uh, Dobbs, Dobbs or Rob, uh, Reed. Reed, and then yeah, Reed, it, and I then think. they and then they added Josh Jacobs. Yeah, but I it's think, like I thought. I think Aaron. Yeah, Jones but it was like Aaron, I think yeah. Aaron Jones and Josh I don't Jacobs think, are I don't, similar. Yeah, I don't think they like gained or lost anything there. And they still have AJ Dillon. Uh, maybe. Potentially, I don't know, but I don't know. But I who's, think who's their who's their tight end. They had uh, Tanyan, yeah. Robert Tanyan. Yeah, he's Tanya. always hurt. Like, yeah. He's one of those guys that's always hurt. But when he's playing, he's fine. But, like, they have another very – if their defense stays healthy, that was a big thing with them is their defense, like, Jair Alexander missed a lot of the season. Yep. You know, they were kind of banged up on the defensive side. If they stay healthy, they're, I think they're going to, like, make a very good, like, playoff push. Yeah. You know, especially with Jordan Love just getting more and more experience. I don't – you know, he's not going to regress. I don't – I mean, you can't imagine he's going to regress. That's one of Zach's better takes on getting technical. It's probably the best one ever. Jordan Love, stud. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Love better than Dak Prescott. <laughs> Whooped his ass in the playoffs. <laughs> That's the – I mean, regular season-wise – that's the thing, though. If regular you're season, if you're Dak building is, your he's, team, he's right now. I'm building my team right now. Season. Jordan Love, yeah. yeah. If I'm building, but I'm I'm also building my team because if I'm building a team for like a you know next ten years, you know, I'm going Jordan Love because he's 25. I also said that without seeing Jordan Love ever play. Yeah, really, <laughs> it was just he a didn't total even play hot a game. Game. He was just shitting Wait, on was, Dak. Was, was this one? Out. Was this Rogers one? Rogers was still, still there. there. Yeah. Oh, geez, so this is a couple years ago. Yeah. I was like, I was like, if Aaron Rodgers goes to the Jets, Jordan Love will be better than Dak Prescott. I got, I got. He was for basically it. just shitting on Dak. That's, yeah. I mean, it got look, picked up on Twitter. I, I mean, but, like, dude, don't, don't, get, don't get me wrong. Like Dak, Doc, 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 Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers, yeah. <laughs> Doc Bustamante. <laughs> Dak had a very good season last year, but it's just like Dallas in the playoffs. Just, just fold. They every just don't year. mix. It's they like it, they're mix. like the they're like the Dodgers before the Dodgers won that that COVID year. It's like they're they're the best. It's they're like, one of the best regular season teams every year, and then they just. Old, but it's even like like a lawn chair in the playoffs. Every I, it's year. not even like an incredibly long time. Like they won three Super Bowls in the nineties, so it's just like it's it's been like thirty years or whatever since they won a Super Bowl. It's just like being a Jets fan. We're gonna go like in a couple years. It's gonna be sixty years since we won a Super Bowl. It's like there's way longer droughts out there for sure. But it just for some well, the reason the Cowboys are supposed to be America's team. I know it's just like the Cowboys and like Jerry Jones like they always have the hype around them. They're always in the media. Jerry Jones is always saying some ridiculous things about how like, you know, he's like he's always in it to win it and then every year first round they're 12 and 4, 11 and 5 or whatever it is and first round see ya. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Every year, too. It's Every always year. something. Du- it's some like embarrassing way they lose. I think it was like, just two like two years ago. Remember, it was like that one play that they ran, and then it like made no sense. Oh, that like special team. They never play? got the ball off in time. Like, yeah. well, no, because Dak ran. Yeah, he did something. He dumb. ran and slid, and they they didn't. The, they didn't the, have the, enough time. Play clock ran out. It's yeah. like they cut. Like Jordan Love like comes into Dallas and just hey, yo. destroys them. <laughs> I just noticed we switched mics. I, I noticed that too. I don't I even like, think. Yeah, I don't. Felt, I was looking at this. I was like, "There's no way mine has a mark like this." Like, I leave it in the box and I hold it every time. But and they, I realized that it was. Yeah. Fun. But Dallas hasn't made it to a conference championship since they since won Romo. The well, no, it was Romo. Was that the NFC Championship? The no. Des, the Des didn't catch it ball. No, I that don't was think. that no. was the second round. It was yeah, the division round. round. Yeah, it's they haven't incredible. made a yeah conference since. since Tony Romo run, better yeah. than Tony Romo's better than Dak Prescott, anyways. But all right, let's I do think so. People aren't ready for that. Let's maybe since we're I, maybe wrap up a little bit of the draft talk and go into our top ten teams after the draft. Uh, or top ten teams. Fuck after the draft. The draft is a month gone. Yeah, yeah a month out. Uh, you want to go first, bro? Top ten teams. I mean, did you write this down? I Jelinas. We made a list the other day. Jelinas starts fucking. He didn't write it down because he thought he knew what he was talking about. Yeah, no. He you said got, some of the dumbest shit, and then he had to. We had to fucking <laughs> like uh, go back. He's like, uh, uh, he said uh, like PJ Wa- Washington was like a top five player left in the playoffs like two rounds ago. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> He's like, me and Julian are like, wait, I mean, what? He's like, I'm not gonna lie. I I I lost my train of thought. All right. Go from ten. Go from ten. You didn't write it down. No, I didn't. I didn't. This was this was the one I skipped. So somebody else go. Right. I'll go first. This is the one I skipped. My top ten teams in the NFL going into this season. I got the Cowboys at ten. I got the Falcons at nine. Bengals at eight. Texans seven. Jets six. Eagles five. Ravens four. Lions three. Niners two. And I got the Chiefs at one. If Mahomes is is healthy. He's leading the team. There, nobody's beating the Chiefs. It doesn't matter who his receivers are. It doesn't matter what's going on. He's just gonna. No one can beat him. So that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I, that was something I wanted to talk about afterwards. It's like I don't think anyone's beating a healthy Patrick Mahomes. And now they have fucking Hollywood Brown. They drafted uh, Worthy. Um, I don't know. I, I, Xavier Worthy. Yeah. The yeah they draft, got uh, that's Xavier not my, Worthy. That's and not then they got uh, <laughs> the draft. Rasheed Rice is coming back. Is he? What's, he's had a bad offseason. Yeah, know what's a little hit on. and run. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if he doesn't spend the NFL season in jail, <laughs> he, he, you know, he should be an impactful player. He ran away on foot. I mean, that's, he's still tough to catch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> probably, probably is better. I'd, probably the better decision. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. He was good, though. He's really good. He's good. Yeah. No, he's he's really good. Yeah. And then they. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll make a move in 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 season to get another like decent guy, like a wide receiver three. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely outside of Tyree, like, you know, because they always have speed with Valdez Scanling, Hardman, when Tyree Kill was there. But I mean, now you got like two legit burners with Xavier Worthy and Hollywood. And, yeah. then, uh, and then you got Travis. I, I think Travis Kelsey has another good year. I mean, yeah, for he's sure. Like, he's just like so steady. Like that's that's like their whole team. Like Mahomes is gonna find a way, and their defense every year is kind of underrated. Uh, yeah, although last they year did they lose, were great. They did lose the the cornerback, Lejarry Sneed. Yeah, who mm-hmm. was huge for them. Yeah, last I mean, year. Well, like like, like you said, really good too. Yeah, yeah, that was the one they were. It was only like a second season or something, yeah. right? And he yeah, was he's, just like he was unreal in the playoffs. Yeah, he was yeah. crazy. Even the, the Super Bowl, he had he had that. Touchdown, he like swatted away yep. like a touchdown catch. It was, yep. yeah, no, it's it's really good. It just comes down to it's like if, if Patrick Mahomes is healthy, unless they have a ridiculous right. amount of injuries, like the Chiefs are going to be in the Super Bowl and they're most likely going to win. Like, it was actually funny because we were talking about those videos I made before. I did a video where I was like, Can I build a team with the spinner to beat the Chiefs, like the current Chiefs? And I get Josh Allen with like the first spin. I get the Bills, so I pick Josh Allen because I think he's the second best quarterback in the NFL. And every comment, it was must have been thirty of them. Got no chance. You got Josh Allen. I'm like, who else? That that means no one can beat him. <laughs> it's Josh no Allen, one, I think, no. is the second best quarterback no in the one, NFL. No one can beat him. <laughs> no I, one can I, beat the only, Patrick Mahomes. The only thing that could beat Patrick Mahomes is like his weak ankles. That's about it. And it's like he, he even won a Super Bowl on a bum fucking ankle. Yeah, like the guy was like. And his defense visibly played terrible. Injured. Like Jalen yeah. Hurts went off that game. He was didn't vi- yeah. couldn't stop him. visibly injured, just like hobbling around the field, and just still, just just 
leaps and bounds better than everybody else. It's actually insane. Do you think that uh, – is he on the GOAT traje- trajectory? Do you think he's yes. on pace to be better than Tom Brady? Yes. You yes. Think? Dude, he's 28. Yeah, I mean, at this point, he's got three rings. He's 28. If he wins, if he wins it's another, it's about longevity. How long is, is he? Yeah, is Patrick I think he's going to be able to play long enough to surpass Tom Brady. Really. I think it's going to come down to like it's going to be a very similar debate to Jordan Lebron. <laughs> yeah. See, but like the thing with him is like you know it's it's like you're saying like you know Lebron has statistically it blows Jordan out of the water, but it's just like Jordan's like career and like the way he played like everybody's like oh like jordan as a player is better i think that's what's going to happen with mahomes like you know tom brady played until he was 45 years old you know so beating his records and stuff might be difficult just because like playing for that long is tough but i mean like watching pat mahomes play he is just it it is unbelievable the the throws he makes you know the different like angles and styles like running around like he can fucking move too extending tom brady couldn't move like if he wasn't upright like he he's in trouble like it's it's troublesome taking down pat mahomes yeah Yeah. so it's like that adds another like you know um tier to his game where it's just like he is just so much better than everybody else so much better at this point it seems clear like he's definitely the most talented quarterback of all time like, you could say whatever you want. Like, this dude is winning Super yeah. Bowls. Like, he lost Tyree Kill. People thought that was going to be some massive blow to the team. It didn't matter. He had Juju Smith-Schuster and MVS. <laughs> he won the Super Bowl. Like, it just doesn't matter. Like, his, yeah. his talent is just insane. Yeah, I mean, the throws that he can make, like, like I said, on the run, doesn't yeah. matter. Like, you know, people in his face, you know, whether he's, he's hurt in the Super Bowl, you know, week one or, or week 17, you know, he is just always on top of his game. Right. Yeah, Pat Mahomes plays session right Except now, when but. he plays the New York fucking Jets and Zach Wilson yeah. outduels him. The funniest part about that too is like you saw the video of him like uh walking into like training camp or whatever it was where he like he has like a dad bod. Mm-hmm. And it's like people are like, that's how I feel like walking to work on Monday after like <laughs> drinking like eight beers and like uh like having like five uh, slices of pizza over the weekend. I mean <laughs> I think he's a big Bud Light guy. Mahomes. Pat? Yeah. I know his brother is. <laughs> You're a fucking clown. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You little well, did, did you see it was um th- they were at I mean it's uh, almost Jackson Mahomes TikTok season. That's really oh, what God, I'm Mahomes and Kelsey were at a ball game. Uh, they were at a basketball game, I think, and they were booing the shit out of Kelsey. Really? And they were praising Mahomes. Oh, that was at the Mavs game. Was it at the yeah, Mavs game? The I was game. like, what are they booing Kelsey for? Uh, I think people are just like. I think it's like Taylor a combination Swift? of the the commercials he's done and the fact that he's like dating. Is it, is it because like he did like the Pfizer and they think he's I like think a liberal? A couple, is that what also, they think? That's in Texas, like you're in Texas, like a very yeah. But if you're in if state. you're in but also if like, you're in the cities though, like it like the politics kind of flip when you're in the cities. Yeah, that's true. But it's, I think it's also like the Taylor Swift thing. People hate like when you're always in the news. Yeah, but people everybody really everybody mad. hates Pat Mahomes' wife. She's the most annoying fucking person on the planet. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I, I, I have no idea. I thought that was weird, just like booing Travis Kelsey and then just like praising Pat Mahomes. I think people just get tired of seeing him all over the yeah. fucking news. Probably. Maybe. You want to do your top ten? Yeah. All right, top ten teams in the NFL. Got the Jets at ten, mm. Texans at nine, mm. Cowboys at eight, just Dolphins at seven, Lions at six, Bengals at five, Ravens at four, Eagles at three, Niners at two and the Chiefs at one. You think the Eagles bounce back? With yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think the Eagles are gonna go to the Super Bowl. Really? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they that, were fucking terrible to end last year. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. see that. I don't see that. Well, Jalen Jalen Hurts was banged up, wasn't he? Wasn't he kind he of playing? Hurt, but it's just the whole team as a whole. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't. They weren't clicking. They weren't well, clicking. Like, you know, I mean, I and they they did lose Kelsey, but you see, I left the Bills out of ten. The Bills are oh, going to. I don't think I have the Bills in mind. I don't, I don't think. I don't have the good. Bills. I th- the Buffalo is going to be like a tricky situation because, like you said, it's like Josh Allen being the second best QB in the league, but like when you have literally nothing, like he's going to be throwing to taxi cab drivers he's this year. Curtis Samuel. 
Yeah. Uh, who could have a good yes. year? Right, but he's, he's never he's underrated. he's ne- he's never been a number one. So no. it's like when you have guys like that that have never been a number one and have never had to deal with double coverage before, like now you have to really see like how he's going to prosper. Yeah. They still have uh, what's his name? Gabe Davis. No, no Gabe, Gabe Davis, Davis is in oh, Jacksonville. Oh, he's going to Jacksonville. He's in, go to Jacksonville. You're right. right. He's in Jacksonville. Yeah. So like their next yeah. guy is like Shakir. They drafted Kincaid, a nice guy. Kincaid is really good. Kincaid, yeah, but he's a t- he's a tight end. You know, it's he's getting covered. But he by, could, he's he getting could, covered by different guys. He could be a yeah. They have they have Kelsey him they have X him and factor. Dawson Knox so they have a good two tight ends. James Cook played really well last he's good. year. Yeah, James Cook so I mean good. they have like but like uh, it's just you know they'll be in the mix. They'll find a way. Yeah. Just because when you have Josh, Allen, when you have Josh good. Allen and their defense is still fine. Like they lost a couple of guys. Like they lost Poyer, you know. But like they'll they'll still be all right defensively. I think. Yeah. So, yeah. but I don't know. Like they could be like a Nine they could be eight. they could be like a big you know down down. Uh, I feel like they could regression. Be, they like could have regression. a season where they win thirteen games, or they could just be completely terrible. Yeah, they could like win six. six yeah, <laughs> like this, yeah. Because of Josh Allen, like there's just so many ways it can go. But and yeah. depending yeah. on their schedule too. I yeah. mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I mean, James Cook was also he was elite last year. James Cook but was they, really good. They kind of went away from the run with him a lot, which was kind of questionable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all right, Cardinals. We'll, we'll do their record. Cardinals. That's right. a win. One and zero. Dolphins. I think they'll probably split with them. Yeah. Right. So, so yeah. we'll give them. We'll, say, we'll, say they split. Say they split with the Dolphins and the Jets, and then they probably take two against, you know, New England. Yeah, but New England is a game you probably lose in Foxborough, like late in the year. You know, it's and, one of those trap games. Or yeah. Drake, no, Drake, yeah. yeah, Drake you may know. decide to play like fucking prime Tom Brady. All right. So who uh, who else? All right. So so call it call it one and one. Uh, Jags. It's a tough game. I, I, don't, I don't think it's tough. I think Tre- Trevor Lawrence is the worst fucking quarterback. <laughs> no. All right. We'll give him a win. Two and one. Ravens. Lost. Two lost. and two. Texans. Lost. lost. Two and three. In, Jets. Houston? In Houston? In Houston. Lost. Jets. At Jets. At, say, say, they at, went, say they lose the away game, win the home game. Okay. So three and three. Titans. Win. They win. Yeah. Four and three. Seahawks. Win. In Seattle? In Seattle. They win. All right. Yeah. I'd probably give them Five the win. and three. Dolphins. Uh, well, you already, we have, yeah, we so have five them. and four. Yeah, I gave them the win. So now they lost this one. Colts, tough fucking game. That's a tough game. That's a tough game. I'm, I'm, say, was it, I'm still getting Indy. Loss. I, I'm I don't know. Loss. Five and five. Uh, Chiefs. Loss. loss. Five and six. Niners. Loss. loss. Five and seven. Yeah. Rams. Loss. Win. No. I think they could beat. Th- where is the game? In L.A. These are some tough road games. Six and seven. Give All it right, to give, them. Give them, yeah. give them the win. I'll give, give them the yeah. win. In Detroit. Loss. In Detroit, that's a tough road. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's a loss. Oh, yeah. that's a tough Six road. And eight. I thought you were like saying no. Uh, I I think they lose to L.A. and L.A. Six and eight, bro. And then they got to play. This is a this is some deep traveling, like going back and forth from the West Coast to the East Coast. You got to think they got that Niners game at home, so you're going Niners back out to L.A. back, back to, to home Detroit. to that's Detroit. A, that's a tough schedule. Like so that's far. that's a lot of travel. So, so we're at six and eight, uh, home against the Pats. Home late win. December, win. I'll give that a win. Home against the Jets, win. I'll give that a win. A late seed, actually. Eight, I don't know. You're talking eight. And eight you're talking and then, about and then back to New England for the last game win. of the year in January. I think they just win. So nine, nine and eight. eight. Yeah, that's a middle and of the those pack. Those are a lot of toss-ups. And there's there's that. some you coin flip. They can, they, can but like even they can lose to the Jets late in the year. Like if the Jets are clicking late in the year, like stuff like that. Like that that could be a loss. Your last four games. I mean, your last six games: Niners, Rams, Lions, Pats, Jets, Pats. It's not easy. No, that's gonna be a tough year. Mm. They could easily, they could easily, like you're saying, drop the ball, or they could just come out hot. You're saying like, and kind of just shock the world. But I, I don't see them as a top ten team either. I, I kind of agree with that. I don't have them either. Yeah. Did you make a list? Or you I made a list, one? motherfucker. I made I a list. Said. All right, at ten, I got Cincinnati. Uh, at nine, Miami. At eight. Texans, seven, Green Bay, six, my New York Jets, five, the Ravens, four, the Packers. I'm really big on the Packers this year. You said uh, the Packers twice. Oh, did I? Green oh, shit. Bay and then the Packers. That would be the same team. <laughs> oh, shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was making this list. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so then put the pack, keep the Packers at four. I don't care. Uh, the Eagles at three, Niners just, at maybe two. Maybe just do your top five. I'll make a clip well, out of your top five. I just please. fucking you just take the you just take the Packers out. I'm editing. I did nine through one. You don't have to edit anything. No, you had Green Bay at seven. Right. It was so just seven. I said just make it now nine to one. There's no ten. Get over it. 
Okay. Niners are two, Chiefs are one. Everybody agrees. Niners, Chiefs, two best teams. Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati, to me, is going to depend on the health of Joe Burrow. Yeah. Miami, same thing, the health of Tua. You know, so those teams can, you know, if they stay healthy, you know, they can flourish. If I'm, they don't, I'm out on the Dolphins with Tua. Like, I, I think Tua's fine, but I just think we've seen, like, what they are with Tua. I think like, they're, they, they got no, dismantled think, in the playoffs. They can't right. win but it. I they mean, can, what's their record, like, with the could, under 40 degrees? Yeah. They that's can, fine. They like, they, game. They, they well, can, that's the thing. If they don't have home field and they go into Buffalo or they go into Kansas City or they go into Baltimore. Baltimore they're, at, they're immediately at a disadvantage, but also like, bro, like the teams just like they're. they're I think they're kind of like a Dallas. I think they're a regular season team. Like I think they have great offensive pieces. They have a solid defense, and it's nice. Last year they got to beat up on the Jets twice a year with Zach Wilson and whoever was also. I, I don't think Zach started both games. I don't remember. They got to beat. They, I'm like, trying. That's four I'm trying wins to, that they were just handed last I'm year. Try, like, I'm trying to eliminate you know Zach Wilson memories. I out think of my that head. they beat. Like they had like bro. Yeah, but Mac not, Jones I mean, and Zach Wilson, they got to beat up on them. That's four wins right there. I mean, you got to think this year. Like, I think they like that offense can handle. Unless, the, did they, they lose can, the game to the they did. They, they definitely did. did. They definitely they did. did lose in Fox. But it was I mean, they lost in Fox, bro. Yeah, yeah, but they but they also had games where you know they were throwing out third string QBs. Yeah, you know they were fucking the Dolphins. Yeah, fucking tools. Let's. No, that was two years ago. That was two years yeah. ago when he got his concussions. That yeah. wasn't this last oh, year. No, it was two years. No, ago. last year he played the whole game, the whole year. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. I remember when, where he was when I got he... the concussion. That was two years ago. That was two years ago. Yeah, yeah. when he hit his back oh. of his head against Buffalo, yeah. I believe. The Jets. The Jets gave him the first one. Yeah, the Jets one. And then, and then he came back the next week, and then he fucking died. Yeah. And he was throwing up fucking gang signs. <laughs> Fucking sitting oh, yeah, there like hands, this, just yeah, fucking his yeah, hands was frozen. Uh, that was actually that was really bad. Up. That was really fucking bad. But yeah, I just I, oh, was. I don't know. I just think that two is like a solid quarterback. I don't think he's a top ten quarterback, and I don't think that. I mean, I don't think that he's got like what it t- like. There's a lot I mean, of good I teams to, to be I like. How are, you got to be on top of your game to beat the Chiefs. Like you got to be on top of your game to beat the. Right, the I'm not Ravens. saying, but I, you know, they're not gonna have you don't think field against these teams. But you they don't gotta think, go in there and win. I just don't think he's winning the Super Bowl. Like who would you replace them? Like I. Oh, I don't I, have that answer. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't think. I, I don't think because especially in the AFC wise, the AFC West is weak. You know the Raiders are bad. The, um, the Chargers will the be Char- better. No, they will not. You don't think? Chargers should. The Chargers. Chargers probably not. The Chargers the dismantled their entire team. They, I mean, they still they got, got the defense. The, the defense wasn't that great. Did they draft Joe Walt. They yes. drafted Joe Walt, but their whole, their offensive line was horrific. I th- you don't think they'll be better they than got five rid of, and twelve? They got rid of Keenan Allen. They got rid of Mike Williams, who granted he was hurt most of the time. I don't think you're going to be much better than five and twelve. I think it, they'll win eight Ju- games. Justin Herbert is just is, is Eckler. St- no, Eckler's no, in Washington. So Washington. then that is random, man. But like, who's who's their running back now? Uh, it was a Josh Kelly, Joshua Kelly. He's terrible. He's a backup. Yeah, he's a bona fide backup. I mean, they got nobody for him to throw to. They got nobody for him to throw to. That was a guy. That I team is that team is just was, no good. Something. But um, oh, they got Gus Edwards. Ah, it's not a bad back. the bus. It's not a bad back. Gus Edwards is... Oh, and they got J.K. Dobbins. They took fucking... J.K. Dobbins oh. coming off an ACL tear. He's probably third one. Yeah. Wait, wait. I got a question. And then you. you got and then you got Denver, trash. Fucking the AFC North is, you know, it's... Uh, whatchamacallit. The Ravens are going to take that division. The, the Steelers have a chance. The Steelers be, have a chance to make some noise for sure. They definitely do. But I mean, once do again, think that, do you think Russ will end up being the quarterback all year? Do you think they're going to end up with Justin Fields? I, I like what I, Fields does, man. I like what, how he can run the ball. Like I like how I, he can run the ball. I would put Fields out there just because I'm like, well, they're a young team, so throw your young QB out there. But I, they might be thinking like, I have a young team, so I need a I need a veteran guy to lead them. You know, show Justin Fields for a year like what it means to like really lead an offense because he here's a guy where it's just like he's all he's done for his entire career is run for his life and huck up prayers to dj Moore. you know it's just that's all he's really ever done you know he, he definitely showed improvement last year but also like russell wilson was really good last year like russell he, wilson he didn't was, have much to work with 
Yeah. Russell Wilson was was, was fine last year. I didn't yeah. I didn't I didn't see why Denver got rid of him. I guess you know because of the they just well, they, need to, they just need to reset. Right. Pittsburgh could have like this could be a weird like you know how like some quarterbacks get to like the back end of their career. Yeah. But they find a home and like I, and I mean you got dominant. you got Pickens, Russell's Fryer not Muth, that old. Yeah, Pickens, Fryermuth, Najee Harris. Like they have a solid defense. Yeah, Pittsburgh knows how to win games. I yeah, mean, bro, they, could, they could be an 11, 12 win team next year with Russell Wilson. And I, can I, I, yeah, I wouldn't be shocked at all. Like Russell Wilson can throw, you know, twenty eight touchdowns, and they'll be they'll be fine. Yeah, I feel like it could be a weird. I mean, we could be totally wrong, and Russ could shit the bed. But I feel like, well, like that's the crazy because if he starts shitting the bed, you just throw in Justin now Fields. You got Justin Fields. You throw in Justin Fields, and maybe that changes everything. It changes the yeah. di- it changes the whole offense. The dynamic of the offense gets completely changed. I mean, anything's better than. Than Kenny Pickett, yeah, he was pretty bad. Yeah, him and like shuffling between he was, him like, and Trubisky. Statistically worse than like uh, Zach Wilson, I think. He, w- I mean, that was a bad pick overall. He, he also had a way better fucking team, so I don't even want to hear it. Like Zach Wilson's rookie year was throwing fucking losers, <laughs> losers. I like, mean, if he you was c- kind of throwing a losers last year too, outside of Garrett Wilson, <laughs> he really was. <laughs> I mean, Alan Lazard, Alan is, Lazard is, is a bum. <laughs> Bump. He is terrible. And I'm telling you this right now, he's somehow going to catch 60 fucking passes at Aaron Rodgers. That's the thing. It's like Aaron Rodgers, his friend. If Aaron Rod- It's like LeBron. If Aaron Rodgers is really good friends with this guy and he wants him to play, he's probably not that good. Every one of Aaron Rodgers' friends that he brought over to the Jets was terrible. Well, he only brought over two guys. No. He brought over... Lazard, Cobb. Lazard, Lazard and Cobb. Cobb. He brought over... Oh, I'm blanking. I'm blanking. I mean, everybody knew Cobb was there to just be like a locker room guy. Yeah, didn't he bring over that offensive lineman too? No, they wanted him. They people wanted uh, the Jets to sign the guy Bakhtiari. No, yeah, but there's yeah. another guy that he liked that he brought over who was like a turnstile. I think it was Billy. Oh, he brought Billy Turner. I'm pretty sure he brought Billy Turner. Ah, uh, but sure Billy, he everybody but like also, Billy Turner was a practice right, player. Fine, it practice maybe it's squad. only three players, right? His buddy, his boy Nathaniel Hackett. That guy oh. should not be allowed to call he, an offense. He, he sucks. <laughs> That's the worst thing he did. I've ne- like, and that that was that was the big takeaway from that um the Michael Hardman. It was just like once Aaron Rodgers went down, Nathaniel Hackett was just like, I don't know what to do anymore. He was like, because his his in entire place. his entire life has revolved around Aaron Rodgers. Like when he went to Denver, he was terrible. Yeah, he, was bad. he was terrible in Denver. He was like, if he doesn't have Aaron Rodgers basically telling him what to do. And like the thing is, I didn't understand it. It was like, dude, just run the Aaron Rodgers offense through Zach Wilson. What's the worst that happens? Is he sucks? Okay, he sucks already. So who cares? But also the thing that made no sense with the Jets last year is like, you had to assume there's a chance that a 40 year old quarterback gets hurt. They had yeah. no plan. They had yeah. no plan for Zach Wilson. Well, like, I guess they didn't it, bring like, in a veteran backup. Why and does, then they just rolled the dice and they were like, uh. Let's just hope that, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers stays healthy the entire season. But this is also the thing I hate about social media is because if you just went by social media and they were like, oh, my God, Aaron Rodgers teaching up Zach Wilson, you would have thought Zach Wilson was going to come out and start fucking balling. Yeah. And then, like, he played. He was so much. He was a lot better last he year played, than he was the year prior. And he still sucked. Yeah. He was still so bad. Like, bro, that, Ra- moments, that, that Raiders game, that Chargers game, he was hor- like some of the worst football I've ever seen been played. Look, Zach Wilson's not a great football He's not a good football player. But I, at the same time, he wasn't set up to, for no, success. No, I think that's It's a, a classic Jets thing. They I, did it with Darnold. Yeah. They, they, did they did it with Zach Wilson. They did they it with Gino. They don't know how to set up a young quarterback. They did it with Gino. They did it with Sam Darnold. They did it with, with uh, Zach. They just ruined QBs. Yeah, not saying like, any of these guys are going to be you know top 10 talents. But there's no reason that like Sam Sam Donald should not be a backup quarterback. I think he like I is he Minnesota now. Yeah, and he's gonna back up JJ McCarthy. I'm not he saying I'm not saying he should. Carolina. He well, has just been but on once again, season. like who was he throwing to? He was throwing a DJ Moore for like one year, but like Curtis Samuel. Yeah. I, I, he that McCaffrey though no. He they might traded him midseason. They start, remember they started off three and everyone was like Darnold, 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 and then they like. I, wa- I watched the Gi- I went to the Giants Panthers game when Mc- they had McCaffrey and they benched Darnold and put in PJ Walker. That sounds about right. I don't know. I think the Jets ruined them, but besides the fact they did ruin them. Let's wait, let's go know. over the Jets schedule quickly. The Jets have a I'm pretty. I'm gonna pee. Keep going. The Jets have a lot of. They they have a tough schedule too because they got to play the NFC West also, so they have to go play the Niners. Play the East, the AFC, NFC East. I'm looking. I have no idea who they're playing. Oh, no, because they just played the NFC East, so no, they, they don't. Open up on. Okay. 
Should we wait for him to do the schedule or just nah. go? All right, so let's look at the Jets' schedule. They open up where is it? Monday night against the Niners. They open up in San Francisco. Yeah, that's probably that's probably a, a nice nice. I think it's gonna be a tough like battle game, but like I, I think they yeah, lose. It's probably lost. Then they go to Tennessee. to Tennessee, which I think that's a win. Uh, then they play the Pats. I'm gonna go win. So that's win. two and one. Yeah. The Broncos win. Win. Three and I th- one. Yeah, I think they just dis- Vikings the win four and one. Yeah. Bills at home against the Bills. I'm gonna give them the win. Okay, so then I'll give them the home win, the away loss. This is the opposite of last year. They had a really tough schedule last year to start. They don't after the Niners this year. They don't. It's pretty easy to start. So it goes Niners. So. Oh, oh, yeah, and then Titans. Two, three, four. Titans, Pats, Broncos. Bills, I'll give them the first Bills game, so that's five and one. Steelers. In Pittsburgh, I'm going to give them a loss. So that's what, six and two? Five and two. Five and two. Patriots, again, I think they sweep the Pats this year. I think they sweep the Pats, too. To. I think that defense is just going to dismantle yeah. whatever so rookie QB they throw out there. That's six and two. Then we got the Texans on Halloween. I think, they, go, I think they beat Houston. Where is the game? The They're in, in New York. In New York. Right. I think they beat Houston again. I mean, they beat him last year with Zach Wilson. They did. They made fucking C.J. Stroud look bad. Yes. So, so I think I think they do it again. That game seven and two. I think they beat the Cardinals. Cardinals. I think they beat the Cardinals. They got to have some away games that they win. Like you got to win a couple of away games. Yeah. I think the Cardinals is one of them. Cardinals that would be eight and two. Yeah. Colts. Trap game loss. Trap game loss. <laughs> There's like that game where it's just like, all right, like you're you're coming you're coming off a big away win, and then you're like, all right, like we got the Colts at home, you know, all right, like we should we should handle business here, and then they get fucking, they lose like so twenty one to seven. Is it's that just what, eight and three. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they actually lose that game, but and they got the Seahawks. Seahawks at home. It's a tough game. Seahawks in New York. It's a one o'clock game, December first. <sighs> I'll give them the win. Yeah. Nine and three. Then I think they lose to the Dolphins. Yeah. Nine and four. I think they fuck the Jaguars. They're going to yeah. fucking the smoke Jaguars. the Jaguars. Ten and four. I think they lose to the Rams. I can give them a loss there. Ten and five. Ten and, five. Ten and six against Buffalo. And I think they will. I, I think the Jets are probably I, and then the, 11 and... 11 and six? Ten or 11 win team, I think. If Ele- everything goes well. Look, I think the thing is with the Jets, like, their defense has they won. Elite. They won seven with Zach Wilson last year. <laughs> they won seven games with Zach Wilson. And they you're have telling Aaron Rodgers. And you're the line me is Aaron, now. You're telling me Aaron Rodgers doesn't give you three more wins last year? Well, with a bolster offensive line. But like, even even without that, like I'm saying, like, if they're – like that team last year, and they're obviously better this year. Like they they built up the offensive line, you know they they added they added the kid Malachi Corey, who's supposed to be pretty solid, you know receiver. So now you're talking like this is supposed to be a better offense with yep. the same top three defense, and you're telling me that Aaron Rodgers doesn't add three or four wins? And it's just I don't see how they're not. No, I think they yeah they get ten or not, eleven easily. Yeah, they say ha- healthy, I mean, they get ten or eleven easily. I think they have like you have to win eleven games. You hope. I mean, if you only win two more games than last year, I think that's a failure. But also, it's you're like, telling me Aaron Rodgers is only worth two wins over Zach Wilson? No way. at the Jets' schedule, I think they overall have. Hey, look, they, they don't have a, a difficult schedule. They don't. I think they. I don't. I think it's. There are teams that are toss ups, but in reality, if we're looking at it and we're looking at the rosters, the Jets have more talented. I think. The I Jets think, have more talented team than a majority of the teams. I, th- I think they have. I think they have like a like a like, not like a tough tough schedule, but they play a lot of their tough teams at home. Like you saw, like they play LA. I think they play LA at home. They play Seattle, Seattle at home. You know, um, that uh, that indie game is at home. So a lot of those games, like, are like their tough matchups are at home. Like playing playing Arizona away. You know, you could yeah away. Jacksonville away. Like you know they got Houston at home. You know, so like those those tough matchups are at home, which helps. And they got six primetime games. I don't know how that bodes for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still scarred. We've never bro, had a bro. good quarterback what? in primetime, so I what? don't know. We don't play the Jets. Don't get many primetime but, games. Yo, so. what? It, what an asshole move by the NFL. What? Fucking Aaron Rodgers tears his Achilles four games into the NFL season on Monday Night Football against four, four plays. You mean four plays? Yeah, four plays into the season, and then you give the Jets fucking Monday Night Football to open up the year. That's a dickhead move. <laughs> Like, why would you, like, you're just sitting there just being like, oh, like, we got him. Right, Achilles. See you later. Like, what a dickhead move. Oh, like, yo, are you guys Who kidding me? they play me? week one? Niners. Niners. Oh, that's, it was like, that was, that was the buff. They have, like, four easy games, though. 
not easy games. They don't have, oh, it's they like, yeah, then it's like Tennessee, New England, and then they go play uh, Buffalo. Yeah. But the home game at first, Buffalo. So it's like they could easily open up that season like four and one, five and one. Yeah. What do you think about the Giants? Uh, what is, yeah, can you pull up their schedule? Yeah, let's see it. I think, I mean, I think it's going to be rough. I think this is just a year. It's like you see what, if Danny Dimes improves and if he's going to be the guy going forward. And if not, you just you have a good pick. I think – I mean, I think they, they did make some good moves in the offseason. They finally drafted a wide receiver. Yeah, I, I mean – Well, actually, they did draft Tony, who was – Yeah, I mean, talent-wise, he was good, but he's a shit show. But uh, Malik Neighbors, I think, is going to be good. I think that's – that think is gonna, such a good pickup. Yeah, I think he's going to be really They're saying good. he could be better than Harry, Marvin Harrison. Yeah, I mean, they said he's the closest thing to like a Tyree Kill explosive. He was the burn, like the burner in the draft. But he's got, some, isn't he? He's got some size, right? He's not like no, he's not small either. Yeah, he's I was like, gonna I say think like five eleven, two hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, I thought he was a little. T- I thought he was like yeah, six, 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 who else? They got Singletary, who is actually a good back. Yeah. I mean, he's never been a lead back anywhere, and he still ran for 900 yards. He's only been in the league two years. I feel like Singletary, like, I Wait, feel like Devin he's... Singletary? Yeah, he's only been in the league two years. That's he, not true. That's no, not true. he was in Buffalo for, like, four. I don't think so. Yeah, no, Unless, I, I, I like Devin Singletary. He's been in the no, league for a little No, he's been in the league for a little bit. He was in Buffalo, and then he went to Chicago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah right. I'm thinking of a different back. Yeah, yeah, he was in Buffalo, yeah. So he ran the last three years. He's uh, good. I, I like Devin Singletary. 870, 819, 890. Who's, but they need, a, sharing you, they, need a, they need another back with him. That's the thing. I think they brought in someone else. I forgot. I got to see. But but they also they, they picked up a couple offensive linemen. Yeah, they did. They got uh, uh, Runyon Jr. Yeah. Uh, then they got another uh, guard. They got Brian Burns. Mm-hmm. They got um, who was the safety? Jalen Mills from New England. Uh, they lost fucking what's his name? Uh, their their best corner. Fuck, I forgot his name. Who was the corner that they lost? He signed a big contract. Oh, uh, did he go? I think he went to Ari- Did he go to Arizona or he went? To be honest, I don't even know. He went to a shitty team, but he but got the a Gi- But the Giants' defense is going to be is going to be good. They were a very good defense last year. And then they added Brian Burns to that front four. Right. Now you got Old Jolari, you got Thibodeau, you got Dexter Lawrence, and Brian Burns. And they still – that other um, – Okereke okay, is yeah, the yeah. other linebacker. Okay, Bobby Okereke. Yeah, I think was, he led the league in tackle Yeah, it was year. a very yeah. good linebacker. Bobby Okereke is really good. Um, and then they have the um, – You said Jalen Mills in the secondary Banks, adding him. Who is a 6'4", corner who runs a 4'4". Yeah. yeah. There's, um, there's still like – like Justin Simmons is still sitting there in the free agency. I don't know how he doesn't get – like if the Giants picked him up, you have those two guys like playing deep coverage. Like that will be very good. Mm-hmm. They're still saying the Jets – like even like people are looking for the Jets to add Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons is a Pro Bowl safety just – yeah. Sitting in the he free agent. The, right? uh, the Broncos. Uh, I think it just comes down to what Daniel Jones does. Like if he can take like, a I, step forward and like be I, I the guy this. they expect him to be. I think I think they can like be Adoree a good Jackson. Team. Adoree, okay. Adoree Jackson. They lost him. But I, like I said, it was like, what does Daniel Jones have to do for like like giant f- the Giants organization and even Giant fans to be like content with them being like, all right, like yeah, like bring him back, maybe draft a, a QB like second or third round, but like bring back Daniel Jones. I mean, he's also coming off an ACL. Yeah, concussion, neck injury, ACL. I, I mean, think I think the neck thing is like guys come back from ACLs. It's like the neck thing is always like yeah, those usually like, when you start having neck when you start having so. neck and spine injuries, that's when like careers start oh, to yeah. Yeah. start that's to dwindle. Right about but like I'm saying like this. Does it have to be playoff or bust for Daniel Jones? Or does, I don't think so. Does he, have, think, does he have to just play well where you're like, all right, like this wasn't on Daniel Jones? I think he needs to throw for like – he needs to li- – I mean, the year before they made the playoffs, he limited all his turnovers. That was So huge. we thought he fixed the problem. Right. And then last year immediately, I mean, it was like four fumbles and seven picks in the first four games. Yeah. And it was like uh, – I think, I think that was maybe guy. like – maybe like uh, Dabble was trying to kind of release the reins and maybe he was just like, all right, like I still kind of – I need to hold the reins on him just a little bit because he can be turnover prone if I let him go like fully loose. You know, maybe just kind of hold him back a little bit, pull yeah, the reins in. You could do and that just... when you had Saquon. Now you don't have him. Now you got to just see what he has. I, I mean, yeah, this is a make or break here. Let was it, wasn't Saquon was banged up that year he, he played really well, no? He played full. Like I'm saying Saquon was fully healthy last year, but the I year before. Saquon's first year off, the AC, off his ACL. Yeah, no, Saquon played that whole year. 
But it was when Daniel, when da- oh, okay. yeah, when they were when they were when the Giants were playing well, Saquon played that whole year. Last year is when he he rolled his ankle against Dallas, and he played, and yeah. then he missed. Or no, he did it against Arizona when they had the late comeback. And yeah. then he missed like five weeks and then came back and then was... Did he miss that much time? Yeah, four or five. Yeah, I think it was almost wow. four weeks. Yeah, it was probably four or five. They still uh, but also, it's like... They still should have brought him back. I think it's like Neighbors is probably... He's never played an NFL snap. He's probably the most talented receiver he's ever played with in the NFL oh, by Oh, for mile. sure. Yeah. Is, Shepard, like, is Shepard still there? No. 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 Where is he? He's he's a free agent. He's just, he's yeah, he's... Uh, he's just a guy who just couldn't stay on Yeah, the couldn't field. stay on yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm saying, like, like if, he, if he can be, like, if you limit his snaps because he's a backup, I think maybe, like, that, think, that can help Giants him, like, stay also, healthy. Like, I think the Giants roster, like we were saying, like, I think it's not who's as across, bad as people think. Who's I think across Wondell from Robinson? neighbors? Hmm? Oh, Wandell's not Wandell's bad. Wandell's not bad. Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt. Yeah. Waller's still there. Bellinger's still there. Bellinger. Oh, I like, I like Bellinger. Yeah, I like uh, Bellinger. I don't like Bellinger. Darren Waller, I don't know if you guys saw he released the music video this week. Yeah, he, he's, one of the more he's, things in he's, he's currently mid CTE right now. I think he's. Uh, <laughs> well, he might not even play. Kelsey, Kelsey Plume is really winning this divorce right now. But who's the other guy that the Giants have? Oh, Slayton. Plum? Do they still have Slayton? No. Where's he? Uh, yeah, fucking being a, lo- agent. Being, a, the being a loser. Let's go Being a loser. Being a loser somewhere else. And then we'll do some fantasy stuff. Darius Slayton was bad for the Giants them. got Allen Robinson. <laughs> that means nothing uh, anymore. Yeah. That meant and, that. And Isaiah McKenzie, who's actually not. He's not a bad okay. slot. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Third down guy. But I, oh, I, they I, do serve Slayton, but I don't I don't know. It's weird. Darius Slayton there. needs to. Isaiah Hodgins was. Darius Slayton was not Isaiah Hodgins, I thought he was going to be so much better than he was. He's not bad. Because it was fucking Hodgins, and then they had that one kid. Blaze and they, calls and him they got Hodgins. Hodgins, yeah. Please, <laughs> yeah, Blaze can say a lot of yeah, things. The Giants, uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably not going to be. Yeah, I think they drafted a rookie running back, Dante Miller, uh, Tyrone Tracy. So they got two young backs, which you never know. I mean, you can get a young back in the third, fourth round, and they can always be good. Be um, Brees Hall. Kyron Williams, Brees Hall. Brees Hall's All right, second let's see round. their schedule. Minnesota week one at home. That could be a win. I, I mean, you're, talk, a win? Yeah. you're talking about JJ, JJ McCarthy's, McCarthy's first, first game, game in New York. Let's give Some him jitters. Win. Okay, one. Uh, Washington. I win. think they're going to split with them. Is it at home? Uh, no, at Washington. So we'll give them a loss, one and one. Yeah. At Cleveland. Loss. Tough game. That's a yes. tough game. Yeah, that, that, that defense is so Home good. against Dallas, probably loss. Mm-hmm. One and three. At Seattle. Probably a loss. One and four. This is a, this is home a good. against Cincy. I think that could be a win. It could be a weird game, you know, but probably. I'll give I'll give him a win on no, that. Two and weird. four. That's crazy. One, I'll give him a win. On one, one, and, one and five. Home against the Eagles. One and six. <laughs> six. At Pittsburgh. I'll give him a win there. No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think that's where they get the win. <laughs> I just felt bad. I wanted to give him a win. <laughs> one and seven. Bad. This is tough. <laughs> Washington will give him the All win. Right, two yeah. and seven. seven. At okay. Carolina, win. win. Three okay, and three seven. and seven. Home against Tampa. It's loss. a tough fucking game. I lose it to Baker. I think yeah. Baker's I taking you know, them to three and eight. They're in Tampa. No, home That's against home. Tampa. All right, give them, Tampa. give them the win. Give them the win. All right, three and what? Three and seven. No, that'd be four. Four and seven. Four and seven. seven. Give them the win. Uh, at Dallas, loss. loss. Four, four and eight. eight. <laughs> home against New Orleans. Still not an easy game. Give Who's it to QB them. QB for. Uh, Is this a car? Yeah, Derek Carr. Right, they'll beat Derek Carr. All right, what's that? Five and eight. Yeah. Uh. Home against Baltimore, five and nine. Five and nine. At loss. Atlanta, that's a loss. Five and ten. Five and They're ten. Losing to Atlanta. Home against uh, the Colts. I give them a, a win. Give them a win. Give them six and six ten. And six ten. and ten, and then at Philly, I lose. Six and, and eleven. Six and eleven. I mean, yeah, it's not. That's good. a hard fucking. That's because once again, is significantly harder than the Jets schedule. Because oh, once again, like think about like I said, like the Jets, all their tough, uh, their tough teams are at home. Like that's a lot of tough away matchups. Yeah. Like going yeah, into Seattle, going into Pittsburgh, you know, you like, have you, you have look, to play Dallas and Philly in there, you know, Atlanta, every year. Like in yeah. Atlanta, like that's fucking tough. Yeah, you don't get any kind of breaks by playing those games at home. Looking yeah, I at don't that know. schedule though, and wh- wh- where the Giants realistically are, I don't think that I think that they could still miss the playoffs and be a six seven win team, and Daniel Jones can show you enough. I know that sounds crazy, but like I mean, they're bro, he playing needs a lot throw. of the best He needs to throw play. for over 20 passing touchdowns as an NFL quarterback. He has to throw for 3,500 yards next year. Right. He has weapons. Uh, their, their offensive line is completely – like it's night and day from last year. Yeah. And the defense improved. Yeah. So, I mean, right. like they can be a competitive team. The Giants have to be that scrappy fucking annoying team where they win the games 19-17, to 17, you know, yeah. the 21-18s where like that first year where – 
Dable set the tone going for two against Tennessee. Yeah. You know, like they got like that scrappy, like we're going to fight. They have to be that type of team. They're not going to be scoring 35 points a game. But Daniel Jones has to probably run for five, 600 yards and he has to throw for 3,000 and 20 plus touchdowns yeah. for them to be competitive. Like said, he, he has to show us just like, all right, like these these losses aren't like on the shoulders of Daniel Jones. Right. It can't it's be like fucking things turnovers. You know, it can't right. be fumbles when it, you know, you're down, you're down three and then you fucking fumble on your own 20. Right. Which he yeah. is notorious. He, he has he has to be putting drives together. It's just like all right, like you know, turnovers here and there, but like limiting those. You know, if you know, finding his open receivers, stay, like if he's staying upright and his receivers are getting open, like you got to put the ball on their chest and just keep keep the drives going. Like if he's sitting there turning the ball over, trying to scramble around because he's like he's not sure of himself or whatever, yeah. and like, then it's like all right, you got to go. And they but, got Drew Locke as his backup. Yikes. Yeah, I love the Jets' backup quarterback situation, Fuck. honestly. Fucking, you ever see those videos? Yeah. Of Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to just talk fantasy quick? Yeah. yeah. Do our top fives. And yeah, because uh, we're already at 54 minutes, so. Uh, let's just do our top five. Fan- I mean, fantasy's around the corner. Yeah. One of the one of the best times in the year for oh. making videos, that's for sure. <laughs> Talking yeah. about football. But I guess I'll start things off. We're going to do our top five. Quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends. Uh, you guys want to start with quarterbacks? Sure. Sure. Cool. Uh, Zach, you go first. Uh, top five, five fantasy quarterbacks. At five, I got Justin Herbert. At four, I got Jalen Hurts. Three, Lamar. Two, Josh Allen. Number one, Mahomes. Really? Number one for fantasy? Yeah. Mahomes? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I think so. He doesn't run, though. He doesn't get the – Josh Allen? Josh Allen? Jalen Hurts, like – I was gonna ask. Well, you jo- this. Josh, we Al- Josh call- Allen. I mean, guy, fifty total touchdowns last yeah, year is like fantasy wise. We always say that Jalen Hurts is the most selfish uh, quarterback. Yeah, because I like how many pa- like how many t- how many touchdowns he's stealing from Saquon this year? Oh, at least at least seven or eight. <laughs> I'm yeah, telling you that right the, now. The, like the, the like Sa- Saquon could have, you know, like twelve rushing touchdowns, but he's not. He's gonna have like five <laughs> <laughs> because it's gonna be it's gonna be them on inside the three yard line. Yeah, Mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna. If they don't run the tush push, they run some read option bullshit where he immediately. Is, there's not a doubt in his mind. He's pulling that ball and running it in. Yeah. Yeah. He is the most no. selfish man on the planet. I just think I think Mahomes with with these receivers. I think Mahomes is gonna win MVP. I think Mahomes might have his best year statistically next year. I think he could have like a a 45 to 50 touchdown year next year. I think I already, I already know yards. who the MVP is gonna be this year. Bring, no. We're bringing the discount double check back, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Bringing I just think back. I think the Chiefs go like fifteen and two, fourteen and three next year, and Mahomes has a ridiculous year. Yeah. Like uh, just throwing yeah. the ball, you know what I'm saying? I think I know he doesn't run as much as you know some of the other guys, but I just think his throwing statistics are gonna—he's gonna have a lot of 400 yeah. yard games, four like, touchdown games. I just feel like every year Mahomes is like he's in these games where it's like he just doesn't give a shit until like the fourth quarter. And he'll just kind of be like messing around. He'll have like he one touchdown. They'll be in the game. Then fourth you know, quarter comes. You're like, all right, like it's time to take over. Yeah, be like, and it's ah, like if he doesn't, if he they run the close. ball in, and it's not him. All of a sudden, he's had twelve fantasy points on the day, and you're like, what just happened? I yeah. still feel like he's. Uh, I don't know. No, I mean, he's the best quarterback in football, but by far, we're talking fantasy. Um, all right, my top five fantasy quarterbacks this year. I got Dak at five, Mahomes at four. Lamar at three, Jalen Hurts two, and I got Josh Allen one. I think Dak, he always shows out in the regular season. Daddy he's not does. I think he's maybe like the tenth best quarterback in football. But when it comes to fantasy, he's that offense is always throwing the ball. They're always yeah. dynamic. With C D, I mean C D Lamb I, second half of the year, I think he he was the best fantasy. Oh my god, the player. two like, the two of them were unbelievable. Like he was uh, just he was just throwing yeah. every and then Josh ball. and Jalen Hurts, I have those two with one and two because they're just gonna run every touchdown in. <laughs> right. I mean, J- and Lamar just Lamar's only at three because he just disappears some games. I don't know. For sometimes sure. the Ravens. I'm not. Like, yeah. He just disappears. now they have Derrick Henry. Too. But like they like they're another team where it's just like they they, they run the ball in though. They're they, like the they, opposite of the they, Eagles. They they win games like like you're saying like 18 to 10. Yeah. And it was just like last year they were like they were out there and like he was he was putting up points, but then they would have like those games like you're saying like. All of a sudden, it's just like, where's Lamar? Yeah. They still they they still won this game twenty four to you know twenty four yeah, to ten, exactly. but like Lamar's stat line was like weird. Well, because now, now that we talk about it, it's like what the what the Ravens do is the opposite of what the Eagles do. When the Eagles are in the fi- inside the five, it's always going to be a Jalen Hurts tush push touchdown. Yeah. When the Ravens are inside the five, 
It's just a handoff. Gus Not Edwards. against the Jets. We don't tush That's push against the Jets, though. Last year, it was just Gus Edwards. This year, it's just going to be Derrick Henry. He's going to have 12 to 15 rushing touchdowns. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Is like, is is he going to steal a lot of, you know, when they're inside the 10, like, he's going to just, I'd just be sitting there every time. Like, why Derek? would I? Oh, yeah. With yeah, the offensive I, line. Yeah, yeah, why not? Just yeah. give it to him three times. Yeah. You know, why not? Yeah. Uh, kind of makes me regret not putting him in my top four. Uh, Derek I was Henry? thinking of him. Oh, I didn't put him in. Oh, he's in mine. Um, five, I'm going to go – I'm putting Lamar at five. And then four, I'm going to put MVP Aaron Rodgers. Three, Jalen <laughs> – no, three, uh, Pat Mahomes. Two, Jalen Hurts. One, Josh Allen. I mean, best fantasy QB, 50 total touchdowns. How do you argue that? Um, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers has thrown 45 touchdowns this year. Two interceptions. Um, Absolutely. He might even run in like five or six, just just to say fuck you guys. Why not show that show them that Achilles is uh, still there? But um, we're gonna have the most high powered offense maybe to ever exist. I mean, the Jets have never in my lifetime had a good offense, so I hope you're right. I never seen a competent offense. I mean, you've never in twenty nine years. In twenty nine years, they've never they've never had a Hall of Fame quarterback. Grant, I don't care that he is forty. I mean, the guy is. Still gonna sling it. I think he. I in re, in reality, I think he has like 30, 30 to thirty three touchdowns. I hope so. That would be good. You I mean, to, is uh, running back? Yeah. Or, yeah. Were you saying something? No, nah, it's not relevant. It wasn't gonna be anything. <laughs> All right, top five fantasy running backs. People are five. Happy. I got Jonathan Taylor. Four. I got Travis Etienne. Number three. I got B. John Robinson. Two. Saquon. And number one. McCaffrey. Wow. I hate that list. Do you? I fucking despise your list. Jonathan Taylor can't stay healthy. I think he will. When? He got hurt one time. He's been hurt. I feel like every he's year he's another been guy. Hurt. I think Anthony Richardson, <laughs> as far as fantasy, is just going to steal a lot of his touchdowns. He's I another guy though, but like he, yeah, but he, he got hurt because he couldn't stay on his. They couldn't keep him on his feet. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think healthy. I mean, I think JT is like. I think there's like a few backs that like. Are game changers, and I think he's one of them. I think it's just, I think his health is just a big issue, and especially because Richardson's coming off a big injury. You know, them maybe trying to rely on him. I think that's going to bang him up again. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, do they still have? Um, who was their backup last year? Is like the best backup in football. Oh, he was I really good. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Zach Moss. Zach Moss. Yeah. yeah, he was awesome for them last year. Do they yeah. still have him? I'm not sure. Yeah. No. I don't know. Uh, cool. So my top five fantasy running backs going into this year. I have Jameer Gibbs at five. I have Bijan Robinson at four. Mm. Kyron Williams three. Brees Hall at two. Mm-hmm. And Christian McCaffrey at number one because <laughs> that can't argue man is just McCaffrey. so good. <laughs> that guy, he Best really is football. the great white hope. <laughs> Him and Cooper DeJean. <laughs> the Eagles. Oh, it sucks. Dude. Uh, Dude, I can't stand Philly sports, bro. I really can't. They're just so good at sports. Uh, yeah, style. I think that uh, I think Jameer Gibbs gets more trust. I think whenever he got the ball last year, he was he was awesome. yeah he, he was really th- good. They throw way too much. Well, know, they they were the also catching back. Which yeah, but they were also splitting carries with him. Where it's like yeah, I think this year you're saying Montgomery. Yeah, yeah, yeah or Mo- that whole Montgomery. But that's a, that's. I think he's still there. Uh, uh, did he resign with them? I don't know, to be honest. But I mean, I if he's if he still there, if he's still I, there I like they that, give a little bit towards the end of the year, they started giving give the ball him more, more and Gibbs, more. And Gibbs was like, he was like a top five fantasy guy at the yeah. end of the year. And but I mean, that's also a thing that could hold him back fantasy wise. Like it's yeah, Mon- if Montgomery Mon- is still there. If yeah. Montgomery is there running still, the ball well, then it's like it's just you inevitable kinda, how good Gibbs is, and they're not going to be able to. Yeah, but also, out. I think Kyron Williams, bro, I, he was so good last year. I just think he continues doing that. He's not like a crazy athlete or anything, but the guy is just—he just finds every hole there is, uh, and he just finds a way uh, into the end zone every single. game. I think that's tough yeah. though too, because I mean Stafford's Stafford's a gunslinger. But either, and either if way, even with I know, Stafford's but I'm saying gone, like the two guys, to Puka and Cooper but if Cup, Cup, Cup was still finding his Cup way. was hurt for the first half of the year, so I mean, if you get Cup and Puka fully healthy, they're gonna just keep with that gunslinging mentality because that's that's Stafford at his best. If you're holding Stafford to 20 throws a game, like he's he's yeah. not gonna be able to do his thing. Like he needs to throw the ball like 30 times a game. Yeah. It's like he I doesn't he doesn't start getting loose until like you know, like attempt number fifteen. Right. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like all of a sudden he's like, all right, now I'm feeling it. Like let me <laughs> let me start fucking around. 
All right, let's hear yours. All right, number five, I'm going to go with the shocker here, Najee Harris. I think he's so underrated. I think people hate on him. From, but he comes out there every year and rushes for 1,000 yards, and they're, like, so and they're like, this guy sucks. I think they're going to give him the ball a lot this year. I think he's going to go over 1,000 yards again. And I think he's going to take a lot of fucking touchdowns because now they have a better offense. So I think now they're going to have a lot more red zone opportunities. Najee Harris, top five. I think he averages like 10.7 fantasy <laughs> points per game. I don't think so. That's I did. so bad. I don't, 16 I don't carries, so. 63 yards. Bro, buddy, but he's a, thousand, he's a thousand yard rusher every year. He had games. Kenny Pickett. Huh? He had Kenny Pickett. That's what I'm saying. I think this year he benefits from the fact that now they have he like a better offense. Enough. He doesn't catch enough pass. Bro. I don't know. I think he, Derek he Henry does three yards per carry. Derrick Henry is so much better than that. <laughs> I'm saying he doesn't catch All any right. pass. Continue your All list. Right. Four, four is Derrick Henry. All right, that's fine. Three is Saquon. Two, Brees Hall. One, Christian McCaffrey. I'm telling you, that's... I just think the Saquon thing is like I think Saquon's a top five talent. I just think Jalen Hurts is going to take all those red zone touchdowns. Yeah, him. but I I think he now that he's got like a guy like they can use him in the pass game. And like behind that offensive he's, line, he's yeah. going to get a lot of crazy. he's going to get a lot of like swing passes and screen passes that I think he's going to really like like in those PPR leagues. He's going to end up with like six or seven catches and eighty rushing yards with like forty, fifty, and like yeah. and a touchdown. Yeah, and he's just going. I think he's just going to flourish with he's that Eagles get 20, offense. Twenty a week, easy. Yeah, Siri. I think Sirianni. Sirianni is going to find every which way to fucking use him. Yeah. Yeah, if he stays healthy, I mean, I think it's good. that that yeah. offense is going to be. Oh, insane. absolutely! I think there's and probably then, like, it's probably like eight to ten like legit good, run, really good running backs this year, which yeah. is more than there usually has. Right, been and I mean, Brees, Brees Hall this year like just He's, short, just short of a thousand yards. But I mean, now should that, have been the most uh, the comeback player of the year. Yeah, now that they don't have the like. Distraction of Dalvin Cook. I mean, he's gonna get all of the carries. He was oh, also yeah. he was also coming off an ACL, so like they were like they were slowly introducing him back into it. And year and two then, is always the first year off an ACL is always yeah. So not now great. so now he's like fully year healthy. Two, he's yeah, back. he's. I think he's. They're gonna fucking. They're gonna use. They're gonna abuse him and Garrett Wilson. Yeah, I think that's all it's gonna be. They're just and he and he catches. He can. I don't know. Uh, like Reese is gonna. He's gonna have probably almost a thousand yards receiving. I think. He yeah he can he he's like he's a guy like he's not they want to get and McCaffrey yeah. they want to get the get him get ball just want to get these guys the balls much yeah much. and like yeah Rod, Rogers is going to just sit there and just fucking dunk oh. it down to him whenever Gary Wilson's not open so yeah because I mean if you throw it out on Lazard it's just going to bounce off his hands yeah he's just trash uh, you so want to do watch series yeah uh, at five I mean I had a tie with Gary Wilson and Ceedee Lamb uh, four Jamar Chase three Amon Ra Two Jettas and one Tyreek. CD at five? Yeah, I think so. I don't see him outperform. I mean, if Jamar Chase and Burrow are healthy, uh, I think I think they have a really good year. I think Amon Ra is going to go crazy again. I love I love Amon Ra, but I think that offense is so like packed. No, it you is, I mean? but I just feel like they they I mean Goff, but like Goff, Goff, Goff loves him. Lot, Goff does yeah. love him, but I think that offense is just like there's so much weapons. It's like it's. <laughs> Like yeah. like C like C D is the guy. Jeff Jefferson is the guy. Chase is the guy. Yeah. You know, Garrett Wilson is the guy. Come on, Ross, the guy. I know, but I'm saying like those guys are like so much better than their number twos. Where it's just who like is you, the, you who's you, the number you, two on Detroit? Laporta? He's the what title? Well yeah, I'm saying you have Laporta, you have Jameer Gibbs, you Jameson have Jameson Williams. Williams. Hey, he's, he's solid. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, hey. yeah, you have weapons, so then, I mean, it's harder to key I mean, on Amon Ra. And I think on one-on-one yeah. -on -one route running, I mean, Amon Ra gets open every fucking play. Amon Ra's, he's great. Yeah, yeah uh, Amon Ra's really good. Yeah, I mean. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually, I kind of just forgot about him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> My top five uh, fantasy wide receivers going into the season. At five, I have Jamar Chase. At four, I have Amon Ra St. Brown. Three, I have Tyree Kill. Two, Justin Jefferson, and I have C.D. Lamb at one. At one? I, I mean, yo, that last, last year he was What he did in the second half of last year. He was like, unbelievable last Dak year. Dak finally just started throwing the ball to him as, what he, as much as he should have been. Dak is like kind of like this guy who likes to pepper a few guys. Yeah. And it's like the end of the year, he's like, oh, like C.D. Lamb's just so much better than everyone guarding him. Like, I can just throw the ball yeah. to him. And it's like, yeah, that's that's what happens when yeah. you throw it to your best player. Kind of tough. <laughs> you end up in the MVP conversation. Yeah. And he ends up with almost 1,800 yards. I just yeah. think he's I mean, I, like, I think I'm, he's elite. I think kinda, I, I, the only reason Jettis isn't one is because I he doesn't have the quarterback. He Even at two might be kind of a stretch because I, of who he's I'm playing. I'm not going to lie to you. I dropped Jettis in my thing. Tyreek. 
I wanted to put like I don't Tyreek is like he just ended the season badly, and I think it's because he was injured. But also they have a lot of options too with A Chain coming in now. Yeah, his for second sure. year. Uh, I think they're gonna involve Waddle a bit more. I also think Tyreek Hill's no, nah, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, if Tua stays upright, you know, obviously Tyreek has. You know, yeah, he was uh, yeah. he was on pace for two thousand yards. Yeah. So I mean, Tyreek it's like Hill's, when he, when he when he stay him, when he stays up, like you know, Tua. Yeah, Tua finds him the ball. He just he just lobs it up there, and Tyreek somehow has nobody within 15 yards of him. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. He's unguardable. He really is. And yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, five. I got Garrett. Uh, like I said, you know, Aaron Rodgers is gonna throw 55 touchdowns this year. So I mean, uh, I'm gonna put Justin Jefferson at four just because of the toss up with the QBs, and it's not that he's not he is the best receiver in the NFL, but if JJ McCarthy is not what they think he is. And then they have to put in, like, Sam Darnold. I mean, it's going to be a tough year for him. And then I'm going to do um, three chase. You know, Burrow just, once again, needs to stay upright and get him the ball. And then I'm going to do two Tyreek. Same thing. Tua needs to stay up. And then I got CD Lamb at one. It's just fantasy-wise. Like, last year, it was uh, – like, I was putting up 40 points a week at, like for, like, a three-week stretch. It's so it was, it was unbelievable. Season, like, he was off to, like, that slow start in an R league. Fucking Icernia had him. He traded Roos, him, right? But yeah, Roos was like, he was just going for it. I think he won, right? Roos won. He traded for McCaffrey and CD. But Nick was just trying to get rid of CD Lamb because he was like averaging like 12 points a game. A yeah. week. And then right when he traded him for like a fifth round pick for next year. <laughs> like 40 points. <laughs> yeah, like, he was like 40, 30, 25, 25, 30, 40. Yeah, it was, it was, was and like, the, bro, all. like late, late in the season too, like when it was fantasy playoffs. Like C D Lamb was putting up like thirty five plus yeah, point. It yeah, was just he was, he was like and that's and that's what you look for, like those guys like late in the season that are like like their teams are in contention, so they're that are like so they're still playing, they're still playing well. Like like that's the thing, like Justin Jefferson, he's in a contract year. Well he that or was he's, the thing he's, with he's, Justin he's Justin looking Lester. he could have came back early. He was like, I'm not rushing back. Right. We're like done. he's done, we're, we're done. Yeah, he's he's looking for a new contract. So he could easily just sit there and just be like, Well, I I hate playing with McCarthy. I don't want to be here anymore. Like he can get frustrated and just be like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm checking out. You yeah, know. Yeah. I even like you know, like talent wise, I think you know, like I said, Jefferson's number one. I even think Jamar. I even think talent wise, Jamar Chase is a better receiver than C.D. Lamb. But it's just like there's there's a lot of question marks coming in with those yeah. guys. Where C.D. Lamb, he's elite, is just he's in that in that same offense again with the same guys again. I think they're just they're gonna be fine. Yeah, I think they're gonna be fine. Let's do wrap up with tight ends. Yeah, tight the ends worst, are the worst fucking part of fantasy football is <laughs> it's, kickers it's, and tight ends. Oh, because like tight ends are like there's five good tight ends. Yeah, and, and it's just, draft, last year I fucking drafted but then Mark Andrews like in two leagues. Dude got hurt. Yeah, it gets hurt. And and it's just like screwed. And it's I don't, I don't even know what to do with them. Yeah. like I had fucking Conklin. And he was a fine player, but he it's like he wasn't bad. He was like yeah. you know, ten didn't score because we couldn't throw because we couldn't. Bad. Yeah, he couldn't score touchdowns. You want to go first, Zach? Sure. Yeah, top five fantasy tight ends. I got Kincaid at five, Hawkinson at four, Laporta at three, Mark Andrews two, and Travis Kelsey at one. Fuck, I forgot about Hawkinson. Um. Hawkinson, Hawkinson's really good. He's I think good. like rookie rookie QB is gonna dump it off to Hawkinson yeah, that's a lot. That's that's that's, thought, that's, yeah. that's, usually, that's usually like a big rookie QB thing yeah. is to just get the ball to your tight end. Yeah, yeah, like, look, safety sure. net, safety net, safety net. And Hawkinson is a phenomenal safety net. Yeah, he's net. sick. Yeah, you he's, know, he's he's, he's a good he's nice. a good tight end. And like now, like you're saying, like yeah, no, nah, for sure. Uh, my five, my top ten tight ends. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, I can't speak, bro. <laughs> My top five tight ends for fantasy going into this year. I got Mark Andrews at five. I got Njoku at four. I have mm. TJ Hawkinson at three, Sam Laporta at two, and I'm still going with Travis Kelsey at one. I think uh, he has another good year, even though he he missed 1,000 yards barely last year. Yeah. Uh, I just think that he's going to be dialed in this year. I think last year was kind of a fluke. I have Pitts as an honorable mention. I think Njoku's like uh, he was he was a league winner last year. He was like uh, he was really good. Well, when Flacco came in, he started playing a yeah, lot. He yeah. started playing really well too. But like that's again like that was that's a weird stretch. It's like is Deshaun Watson gonna like kind of show them that he can be that guy? Right. I always thought he was kind of you know wasn't really worth what he was. 
Like when he was in Houston, he was a lot of garbage time statistics. Like they were yeah. bad. So like he was he was showing out. He was showing out down twenty, you know, twenty one points or whatever. Whoa. Uh Deshaun Watson. Oh yeah. I'm saying like they were good that one like two years. They were pretty good. And they had that twenty point lead and they against the Chiefs. The Chiefs. Yeah. They were up what twenty eight zip, right? <laughs> Something like that. There's twenty eight zip in the first half. Yeah, Mahomes just... came back and beat him. Yeah. He never well, recovered from those and the happy endings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I'm excited for fantasy football. Honestly. I'm gonna. I'm going to throw in a little another shocker here. You guys are going to like this one. At five, at Mark Andrews, just because, you know, coming up, big injury. At four, Cole Komet, baby. Cole Komet. Bro, guy was a touchdown machine for them last year. And you know he was. He was. He was a touchdown yeah, machine. Was. Like, but like, he was weird because he would be like, all right, like, he would have, like, back-to-back games with, like, two touchdowns, and then he would just get, like, one catch the next game. Yeah. And now I'm thinking, all right, maybe Caleb, uh, Caleb Williams. I almost called Caleb Ferguson. Caleb Williams is just fucking, you know, like I said, rookie QB, safety net, just get him the ball. Um, And then Hawkinson, Kelsey, LaPorta, I think they're interchangeable, one, two. I mean, LaPorta is seeming he's everything cracked up, you know, what he's supposed to be. And Kelsey is going to just continue to be the greatest. He's just going to continue to be the. I like to be the number one in Buffalo. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, he's still. You didn't have him in your top five, did you? Yeah, at five. I am, but I also think that he, like, Dawson Knox was injured most of the year last year. And then when he came back, they do a lot of split tight ends, a lot of two tight end sets. So I think that takes a little bit away from him. So, I mean, I I think he's he's a really good tight end. I just think those guys are just, they're they're the main focus of the tight ends. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, there's a good chance he's in there. I think guys like Mark Andrews, like, he was disappointing last year, even when he was playing. Yeah, well, Lamar's just like he's just like that team is just they run first. It's so they're it's, a run first yeah. team. And with the running backs and with the quarterback and they have Zay Flowers who they pepper in. He mm. Lamar's only he only throws the ball fifteen, twenty times a game. Well they didn't yeah, obviously they also were up and they're really good, yeah. That's yeah, but like they yeah, they, they, they got up so quick. So it was just like, all right, like why do we why would I throw the ball? Yeah, exactly. You want to turn the ball over, throw it. So yeah. tight ends always a crapshoot, honestly. Same with kicker. I think that, I think that having kicker Harrison Bucker at this point. Harrison Bucker, number I mean, one kicker. What? They'll win fantasy weeks for you. I know. I one of my leagues. Oh, if you if you have a, yeah, got, if like, you have a sixteen points, points if you, you know, have a kicker like, going out there getting you like fucking like nine to twelve points a week, like you're gonna be a really good team. It's just oh, like yeah. that. That's, why, that that's extra. why personally I don't like it. I I think it's like. I think it's just like it's just it's just luck, which it all is. But mm. at the end of the day, you could have the best kicker in the world if his team scores seven touchdowns. He's only he's getting seven points. Seven points. Yeah. So that's why you need the Greg Zerlines of the world because you know yeah. they only get the ball to like the forty-five yard line. So, well, well we have some games we you have don't even to get it that far. We you have can't to kick, kick a sixty-yarder here, and he fucking hits it. <laughs> it's like you want those like mediocre teams. Yeah. Kickers. That can kind of that can put up like yeah. They'll put up like. 20 points, and he'll get two field goals and two extra points. Yeah, yeah good episode. Uh, last week, I, when we did the episode, I didn't realize. I thought it was episode 53, but it was actually episode 52. It's kind of a landmark episode, 52 weeks in a year. So this is episode 53. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you did, if year's you did, if worth you, of weekly podcast, you, technically. Yeah, but it's... It's not. It's not. It <laughs> Whatever. It's a year's worth of... It's a lot of episodes. Sporadic 52. podcasts. It's not it's something to, you know... Yeah. Most podcasts don't get to what's it? Five? <laughs> episode three. Episode three. Most we got to episode, get to episode three. Ninety percent of podcasts that are started don't get to episode three. And then of the ten percent that did don't make it to episode twenty. So if you do more than twenty episodes, you're like a top one percent podcast of all time of just volume. That's how many have been started and posted and then not and continued. Yeah. Really? What yeah. Say whatever just, you want. This is a top one percent podcast in the world. <laughs> I get to say I'm on a top one yeah. percent podcast. Wow, <laughs> wow, one percent podcast. In that's the world. In, that's an incredible. That's actually a crazy stat. Yeah, well, you so think how many like, people just start a podcast and then like, oh, this is actually like a lot of work. Never mind. Yeah, it's not like it's not too much work. Some of them are, but yeah, no, for sure. It's just like people think. I think a lot of people think they're just gonna hop in front of a mic and people care what they say, and it's like no. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Not really. It never. It actually never works like that. Ever. People don't really care unless you're like a massive celebrity. Yeah. Then they care. Sometimes. But even then, like, uh, like bro, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart have that podcast. I watch the clips. I don't watch the episodes, and I fucking love those two. Yeah. I'm a, like, 
that's my team. Right. But I watch the clips. I don't really ever sit down. It's like you really have to have that audience. Yeah, there's too many. There's too many out there. It's 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 hard. I don't watch. I don't watch like any podcast. I I just I can't. I really I listen to Bill Simmons for basketball. I like I like the one like the next day after I watch a game like a big game like I see people react. Yeah. I used to listen to KFC and that was about I it. I used to listen to him a lot too. I haven't him, him and him and Feidelberg. Years. Yeah. Now I, I probably haven't listened to him in like a little over I, a year. I listen to Joe Rogan if he has like a really. It's all guests to me. Like if I see someone who yeah. I'm like really interested, I'll watch. But you know I can't. I just I can't stand like. The wasting a half hour trying to get into like a topic that I want to listen to, because that's what like all these yeah, podcasts they're like, the they're like they're like yeah they're like two hours long. It's just like the first like a, like half hour forty five minutes are them just being like just talking like nonsense, and then like f- half hour into it now it's like all right let's get into the nitty gritty yeah where it's like I get it like you're tr- like you're not just like here for strict business like. A guy flew across the country, you know, know. you want him to feel welcome. The it was really just like, I don't give a fuck. Have, like, yeah. a bunch I don't of people care. who produce it have, like, timestamps and stuff. Which yeah, they is have nice. chapters on it, yeah. yeah. But, well, it's also, when you're listening on Spotify, like, the timestamps. Sometimes, like, if I'm watching a basketball podcast, there are times I just want to hear people if they're talking about the Knicks. Right. That's a five to ten minute segment out of a two. That would be podcast. nice if like I you you could it. if you could flag it where it's just like all right like here's well, like here to. here's the Knicks like but I'm saying like if there would be like an icon like on the bottom of that yeah. scroll bar where it's like all right like this is the Knicks talk this is the, you know the yeah, Celtics talk oh they do yeah it's a chapter. Okay, this is how little I listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's watching. Bit. That's watching on YouTube. Oh yeah, I ain't doing that's that. Different. Yeah. All right. Good episode.